We are now uh, connected live with Sue Ora Jamu, founder, which is Nofa Dewi. Hello, Nofa. Are you with us? Yes. Hi. Hello. Okay, Nofa. Okay, um, we're talking about, you know, Jamu, which is obviously um, very um, inspirating for other um, people, obviously, at, um, from Indonesia itself. Now, um, again, Jamu is something beneficial for us, right? Now, before we jump into other questions, why did you get involved in the Jamu business in the first place? Okay, what was the story behind that? Okay, thank you guys. So I started Sui Ore Jamu in 2012 when I started to come to Jakarta in 2009. I was born in Surabaya with um, lots of like Japanese background um, mm -hmm. involved in my, uh, my first family and I found that there's um, a link that it's missing between the elder generation and the younger generation mm -hmm. um, during the time when I um, observed the community in Jakarta. So I, I noticed that a lot of people um, kind of like um, scared or worried that oh, if I drink jamu, what's gonna happen to me, you know, that's like bitter, black and everything. So I kind of like motivated at that time to like challenge myself to uh, change the mindset of people um, thinking and I want to give it a better and a different experience. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. where jamu um, started. Mm. to um yeah to make a breakthrough i guess right. to the younger generation's mindset and expectations yeah you know what uh, i passed i think i passed by the uh, the store last night at sarina uh, i think there's a corner there is that right oh yes yes we just uh, recently opened in sarina yeah and tamarind jakarta i love the brand yes. by the way every time i read it you know it's uh you i cannot un uh, unsing it in my head you know sway orajamu like the song um <laughs> but is there is there more than one type of jamu i mean i i see in terms of packaging uh you also sell the ones that are uh, like uh, the um, um the, uh, the the ready to drink ones with the with the glass bottles but um is there different types i mean um is it only just the, like the uh, the drinkable liquid that you just kind of drink is there or different kinds of it please enlighten us or me in this in this case <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, in the past, we only um, served jamu, uh, maybe uh, through Mbok Jamu, yeah, who yes. passed mm. um, in front of us. Um, and then like, the Mbok Jamu is like uh, giving you like, okay, this is the jamu, so what do you feel today? Mm -hmm. What's um, uh, Actually, in Indonesia, we kind of like not really just want to introduce jamu to um feel make us feel better but actually jamu also to heal and to um actually a, pre pre a prevention for yeah. our um our health right yeah. so uh in terms of how many kind of jamu so in sue ora jamu we try to reintroduce that jamu is not only um the uh, the ready to drink in terms of uh, ginger and turmeric but we want to reintroduce that Jamu has so much more ingredients, mm. so much more uh, varieties of um, Jamu recipe that we haven't even explored. So if you notice in our stores, we have uh, the traditional signature Jamu, mm -hmm. like the Kuyit Asam or Tamarine or Buras Kanchur, which is the aromatic Galangal and the ginger or Wedang Jahe. And then we want to reintroduce that, hey guys, like that's like so much more ingredients because in Jamu, we incorporated so many different ingredients, There's eight part of plants, which is the, uh, the roots or rhizomes, the leaf, um, flower, seeds, eels, and also this, uh, the flowers. So we want to uh, experience each and different in, um, ingredients to make a nice celebration, nice jamu or health of the nature that is been presented to us. So there's like uh, kunyi asam, which is like, yes, of course that's a popular one until yes. today, but in 
you want to do mixology like uh, turmeric ginger why not why not explore and experience this exotic ingredients yes that is very interesting manova <laughs> oh man you know, uh, uh, you know in terms of the color you know what we're actually wearing different colors and also i think the it's very also it's also important to to present <laughs> jamu in different colors because otherwise everything's going to look kind of brownish, that's right? That's right. That that's good. right. I mean, if you yes. want attractive colors, especially you want to, you want to serve it to children. Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> well, it's to be attractive though. Yeah. Okay. So obviously we're still talking about um, jamu itself. Come on, guys. Uh, you know it, it is very true what Nofa just said that you know back in the olden days uh, we just drink or, or somebody serves us jamu from the jamu itself, right? Mm. It was actually like um, you know <laughs> walking in front of our houses, mm. right? And now these days we can see uh, jamu being sold here and there and everywhere. Right now, speaking of jamu, food technology students in Surabaya would process various spices into a fresh drink called ngejampi. Not only popular because it's for, of its variety of taste, but the ingredients in ngejampi have also been scientifically proven to deliver health benefits. Check it out. The hobby that brings money seems right to describe the innovation of food technology students Faculty of Agriculture, Dr. Sutomi University, Surabaya, who process spices into healthy drinks with various flavors. Inspired by research in scientific journals about the benefit of spices to increase endurance, a group of seven semester students process ginger, cinnamon, and turmeric into delicious tasting drinks. Ketika membuat produk-produk ini pun, saya, saya juga uh, mengutarakan tolong dicari dari jurnal, pen, jurnal penelitian dan sebagainya. Supaya produk-produk uh, mereka juga bisa dipertanggungjawabkan karena sudah dapat penelitiannya dari jurnal-jurnal yang sebelumnya. Memang sekarang uh, lagi musimnya COVID yang lagi maraknya, kemudian kedua kayaknya sekarang kalau kita lihat di pasaran, masyarakat itu udah kayak mulai sadar tentang makanan yang masih hari. All right, you know, this is all very interesting to talk about jamu here. So uh, we're still connected uh, to Nofa, uh, the founder of uh, Sue Ora Jamu. If I'm not mistaken, that's in the Javanese. Sue Ora Jamu, that means long time no, not drinking the jamu. Yes, it's been a long right. time not drinking the jamu. So that means. Drink the jamu right now. That's right, because okay. for some people, you know, uh, you can't get uh, spent too long without a jamu. All right, here we are, Ma Nofa. So, uh, you know, for the past uh, two years, we've been going through the pandemic, and it seems like the jamu has taken center stage as the staple of a healthy drink. It seems like there's a change in a view toward jamu, uh, sort of a, like a upscaling jamu. Is, is that what you're seeing uh, right now with, with the brand? of jamu yes um during the pandemic um everybody wants to um, incorporate healthy living um naturally they want to um protect themselves you know naturally yes. and mm -hmm. this jamu ingredients oh, it's indonesian our um our mother earth uh, mm -hmm. they provide with lots of antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, um, so much um, properties that now uh, people, the trend is going back to how to be healthy naturally and people really care about prevention, mm -hmm. people, people care about how to protect themselves and in, in the long term um, during the pandemic as well, um, this uh, motivates more Indonesian to um, um, open their eyes and their their mind, you know. That right. We have this uh, a very uh, great asset in our country. People all over already celebrated. If, if you if you already aware, there's like turmeric shots, ginger mm -hmm. shot. Everybody call that different terms, but in the end, it's the essence. Actually, our our jamu. That's right. Our <laughs> Indonesian yes. has been been like you can see in the relief of Candi Borobudur, mm -hmm. yeah. that's the history. It's, the, it's actually the fact that wow. we have that original. So um, I think this pandemic 
it's a, also a moment for Indonesia to um, re-celebrate it, especially the UNESCO um, spirit. Kita, um, Indonesian, um, try to expose this jamu not only in Indonesia but also in overseas. Globally, like people can celebrate jamu now and drink jamu in Singapore, mm-hmm. in Australia, mm-hmm. and soon in the US. And um, in terms of jamu, what is real jamu? Not just like ginger jamu they have, like or <laughs> they said turmeric. But it's actually we want to celebrate jamu in Europe, and this is the pandemic. Let's help with jamu. That's, That's right. the spirit, and um, I think. Uh, Jamu is not only for uh, prevent certain uh, uh, like for community booster or stamina stimulator, you know. Mm-hmm. So we we have to experience this different taste mm-hmm. of that of flavor. So in the pandemic, it's actually good test as well because <laughs> we want to know that oh do do we still can smell some you know or we can taste stuff you know. Right. Let's explore this bitterness, the sweetness, <laughs> the sourness, um, like. So this is also a good a good check, you know. Right. And um, I think the mental health issue, and there's a lot of women entrepreneurs that also now being engaged with us as a community, not only Indonesia and overseas. This pandemic is really bring us together because we can uh, get together through Zoom, mm-hmm. through um, seminar, webinar, and we all can get together to promote our health together and reintroduce Jamu again to. Indonesia and also globally. All right. Oh, so you have a bottom fun. line there. Be proud of our jamu. You don't need to look so f- too far for a healthy drink because we got our proud jamu. There you go. <laughs> right here in Indonesia. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Manofa, for your insights on uh, jamu. You know, stay uh, safe and stay healthy. Of course. Of course. Because she's <laughs> because she's all, all the supplies of jamu. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank Goodbye. You. Thank you very much. There you go. Yeah. Hey, 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 we're not getting any. We don't have our jamu yet. Yeah. But you, you might have.